What's up everybody, Prepared Guy here once again. This is the Magic Shine Mo35. It's a 1000 lumen headlamp with a 4000 milliamp battery that also doubles as an emergency battery bank that can charge your phone and other devices on the go. Upon unboxing the Magic Shine Mo35, you'll get the battery that we just talked about, a headband, a C-type charging cable, and instructions. The Mo35 is IPX6 rated, one meter impact resistant, and it weighs 162 grams or 5.7 ounces and has a max beam distance of 390 feet or 120 meters with a max candela of 3600 CD. The Mo35 has three LED modes that output three different types of LED light. The primary LED is a Cree XP-L2V6 with a cool white tint. There is also a warm tint XD-16-S2 and and lastly, a red XQ-E, or in layman's terms, a cool white LED, a warm LED, and a red LED. As many of you know, I always test the run times using the highest output for each mode and then allow the light to step down naturally as the battery becomes depleted. For the primary cool white LED, the manual stated that it will run for a max time of two hours and six minutes on the 1000 lumen mode. During my run time test, the cool white LED mode ran for three hours and 20 minutes at 1000 lumen before stepping down to an unspecified output twice and then turning off for a total runtime of six hours and 51 minutes of usable light in the cool white LED mode. The manual also stated that the runtime for the warm white LED mode had a total runtime of 19 hours at 100 lumens. During my runtime test, the warm white LED ran for 16 hours and 57 minutes before turning off completely, falling short of the 19 hours stated in the manual by two hours and three minutes. The manual also stated that the runtime for the red LED mode would run at 100 lumens for 10 hours, but during my runtime test, the red LED mode ran for nine hours and 17 minutes, falling short by just 43 minutes. Although the run times for the warm white LED and the red LED mode fell short, the run time for the cool white LED mode did far exceed the run time stated in the manual, thus making up for falling short in the warm white LED and the red LED modes in my opinion. During the 1000 lumen run time test, the Mo35 got up to 144 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius after just seven minutes and 45 seconds of use, which is pretty darn hot. For Fortunately, the padding on the headband protects your skin from the high temperatures. The total recharge time for the Magic Shine Mo35 was just 2 hours and 3 minutes using my Anchor Veritable Charger. As far as the total runtime for each mode goes, the primary white LED has a low 30 lumen mode with a runtime of 61 hours, a medium 100 lumen mode with a runtime of 13 hours, a high 400 lumen mode with a runtime of 8 hours, and a 1000 lumen turbo mode with a runtime of 2 hours and 6 minutes, which is actually a lot longer during my runtime test. The warm white LED has a low 5 lumen mode with a runtime of 240 hours and a medium 50 lumen mode with a runtime of 41 hours and a high 100 lumen mode with a runtime of 19 hours. The red LED mode has a 5 lumen mode with a runtime of 230 hours and a high 100 lumen mode with a runtime of 10 hours. There is also an SOS mode with an unspecified runtime with a 100 lumen output. Now let's take the Mo35 outside and see what those outputs look like in the real world. Okay guys, I'm outside with the Magic Shine MOH35 and I'm going to put this on the low mode, which is 30 lumens, and that has a runtime of 51 hours. I'm going to put it in the next step up, which is 100 lumens, has a runtime of 13 hours and 40 minutes. As you can see, you can start seeing some of the uh, trees over there. I'm going to put it in the 400 lumen mode now, and this has a runtime of 8 hours 27 minutes. And now I'm going to throw it into the 1000 lumen mode, which has a runtime of two hours and six minutes. Now that's really nice and bright. I can see all the way out there. I'm gonna shut the camera light off so you guys can see that it's just this light that's shining out there. Now I'm gonna go down there and I'm going to show you what this looks like first person. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like in the 30 lumen mode from approximately 20 feet away, 25 feet away. 
I'm gonna put this in the next mode up. And this is what that looks like. And I'm gonna put it in the next mode up, which is the 400 lumen mode. And this is what that looks like as well. And I do a little spin around here so you guys can see. I'm wearing my hat with the headlamp. I'm gonna put this in the thousand lumen mode now. Very nice. You guys can see it's nice and bright here. Right in front of me, you can see perfectly clear. Nice wide spread. It's very, very nice. Now I'm gonna put this in the warm light mode now on the low five lumens mode. And I'm gonna put it in the 100 lumens mode or actually the 50 lumens mode and then the 100 lumens mode. And that's what this looks like on camera as well. And now I'm gonna double tap and I'm gonna go into the low red mode. And then I'm gonna jump up to the 100 lumen red mode as well. And as you guys can see, probably not really tracking very well on camera, but looks really nice to me. I can actually see everything out in here that's in front of me. And you guys are seeing me from about 30 feet away roughly. I'm gonna go over towards this bush and you can see it's gonna probably start to illuminate now really well with the red light mode as well. So not bad. A big pro for the Mo35 is the versatility. Having all those different lighting options with some great run times and a battery that can also recharge your phone is a huge plus. I will also mention that the battery is a C-type in and out, which means that it will require you to have a C-type to C-type cable with you on the go if you want to recharge your phone using the battery bank option. My only con was that the run times for two of the modes fell short, which was kind of concerning. Of course, of course, run times will vary on any headlamp and run times are also affected by environmental factors as well as battery degradation. So if you're looking for a solid headlamp with a lot of lighting options that also doubles as an emergency battery bank, then you can pick up the Magic Shine Mo35 on the Magic Shine website for just $90. It comes with a two year warranty, but if you fill out the extended warranty form and register online, Magic Shine will give you an extra six months of coverage for free. On a personal note, I've been looking for a headlamp that checks off all of my boxes for my EDC needs for a while, and the Magic Shine is one of the first headlamps that even comes close. So I can say with confidence that you won't regret picking up this headlamp for your EDC rotation. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like and a comment if you want to. This has been Prepared Guy, and until next time, guys, stay prepared.